So, Ms. Burson, whatever you, whatever you want to talk, uh -huh. uh, only thing you got is take the, uh, where it says unmute. Take the unmute. Right here. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello. I see several colleagues here. Do we have Miss um, Newton or Miss Kennedy here? Miss Newton. Allison. Yes. Okay, I see your phone number. Okay, great. Um, okay, great. I will go ahead and call this meeting to order. Um, I recognize I, not only do we have members here, but Ms. Dickerson is here and Mr. Malinowski is here. I just want to acknowledge and thank my colleagues who are not on the committee for being here. Um, item two on our agenda is the approval of minutes 
for our session on October 27th. Uh, those can be found on pages 7 through 14 of our packet. Is there a motion regarding the approval uh, the minutes? Move to approve. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second it. Um, any additions, deletions, changes to the minutes? Hearing none, I will ask um, Ms. Only to call the roll to vote on the minutes. Geratio? Yes. Um, Kennedy? Banning? Myers? I mean, Newton, sorry. <laughs> yes. All right. Motion passes. Thank you. That brings us to item three, adoption of the agenda. Um, I will say that um, staff has asked that we add um, a briefing around the transfer of ownership of water lines from the city of Columbia to Prisma Health. Um, so I, I guess we need a motion to adopt the agenda and then add that item. Is there a motion to adopt the agenda? All right. Madam Chair. Yes. I move to adopt the agenda as amended. Thank you. Is there a second? All right, I'll second it. Um, any further discussion regarding the agenda? Should we move this item to, would it be maybe 5A or, and move the other two down or 5C for discussion? I'd like to add it at the very beginning since it's carried over from our last meeting and we have guests for that. Okay. Um, so this, I, I don't believe this will be an item for action, but we could put it as 4A if that's okay. All right. So we will do this as item 4A. Um, any further discussion? All right, hearing none, I'll ask Ms. Only to call the roll for the agenda. Madam Chair, Madam Chair Bill Malinowski. Yes, Mr. Malinowski, do you have a suggestion to put this item that is no, not for action? No, just a, just a quick comment so that you stay within the rules of counsel. And that okay. is, I think before you approve that agenda, you have to take a vote to add the agenda because nothing's supposed to be added after these agendas are printed unless okay. it's some type of uh, uh, an emergency type matter, time sensitive, but then you need unanimous consent to add it to the agenda. So I would just recommend you get your unanimous consent first, then okay. edit and vote for the agenda. Thank you. Right. Is there a motion to add this item then? I move that we add this item as the first agenda item on the agenda. Thank you. Is there a second to that? Second. Okay, thank you. Um, it's been moved and properly seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, we'll call the roll for adding uh, item, what will be 4A to the agenda. Horatio? Yes. Manning? Yes. Newton? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you all. And now we will um, do it. Is there a motion to approve the agenda as amended? So moved. Thank you. I'll second it. Are Any discussion? Are you moving all the others down then, B, C, D, E? Yes, yeah, so then that would just shift everything else down. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda as uh, amended and um, if there's no further discussion, I'll have Miss Only call the roll. Horatio? Yes. Manny? Yes. Newton? Yes. Motion passes. Great. Thank you. That will bring us to what is now item 4A. Um, this item is um, was circulated, the agenda briefing addendum was circulated by email, um, and it uh, includes responses to council questions uh, regarding this uh, request to transfer ownership of these water lines. Um, since we probably don't have enough, haven't had enough time to digest this information, 
Uh, I'm assuming that we won't take any action on it tonight, but I would like for um, staff, if you are ready and able to um, kind of uh, brief us on these this item. Madam Chair, if I may. Yes, Mr. Manning. Uh, the briefing document and the information, the answers to the question mm -hmm. was actually sent to council about a week ago. Okay. Um, well, do committee members feel like you have had a chance to uh, read and review these responses in a way that we can move forward with this item? I, I have not. I'm looking to see where I have this information, but certainly um, my opinion may change after that discussion. Okay, great. Uh, yes, Mr. Malinowski. Hey, Madam Chair, Councilman Manny, if you could just let me know where and when that came through on an email, please. And you don't have to do it now. You can do it after your meeting. Thank you. Um. Well, I mean, I can do it now. It was uh, delivered to me in a packet of information. I believe with the packet that came out Friday last week with the uh, council agenda for this past Tuesday night. There were several things in that packet and I'm sure it was one of those because I had a meeting um, with Tom Freshwater from Richland Memorial Hospital earlier this week and I had that document in front of me. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll go look. Maybe I just overlooked it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Manning. Um, I, those those packets included a lot in them, and I somehow missed these this couple of pieces of paper in there. Uh, so I just printed it from the email attachment that came. Um, uh, do you are we prepared to discuss this item at this point? Well, I'd like to make a motion that uh, we proceed with um, allowing the hospital to move forward on this well water project with the um, assumption that the pipes and it did go through Richland County legal to make sure that the indemnity clauses and everything were in place so that if anything happened to them because it's on our property that Richland County wouldn't be held responsible for it. And it's really just kind of a technical thing with the city water that the engineer from the city water told Tom Freshwater, the engineer at Prisma, um, because one of the things is things like this in the past, when the hospital was doing things, because it's actually the property that belongs to, um, to Richland County, but apparently an ambitious engineer told the engineer Richland at Prisma that they needed to uh, get permission from the county. So that's how it ultimately got to Dr. Um, Thompson and then got before us on an agenda item. So I'm not saying that it shouldn't be before us. Probably all those other things should have been. But that's why we kind of have this where did this come from? Like this is something all brand new when the hospital, even before it was Prisma, did things on their property that, you know, it didn't go up into the administration of the city to come over to us. So really just everything I can tell, all the permits uh, and everything that they traditionally would go through with DHEC for the city's water division, ultimately for us in the citizens of Richland County to have a backup well. And some of y'all were uh, on council and some of you were not on council, but were around the city. In the 2015, we had tanker trucks of water sitting on Taylor Street and Hampton Street. Now that's not our hospital, but over at the Baptist Medical Center. And we had to bring in tanker trucks of water 
uh, over onto the campus at Prisma at Richland. And so as a result of that, to not have our citizens in that situation again, they got busy digging a well, getting all the DHEC permits because it's connected. Point to of order. Yes. I, I apologize for interrupting. Mr. Manning made a motion and we've, we've moved into discussion. And so I would be happy to second his motion for discussion oh, uh, so that he, he can continue and we can also invite staff um, and any other relevant information to be presented at this time. Thank, Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Manning, do you want to complete your, uh, what you were getting at? Well, I was just completing that because it's connected with the city water and the city pipes, that I think it's very important for us to move forward on this project so that the well it's really basically all complete. Now we're just waiting for the permission of Richland County for them to assume ownership. So okay. we need to do that. Thank you. Uh, do we have any uh, comments, further comments from staff at this point? Madam Chair. Madam Chair, John uh, Thompson, may I be recognized? Uh, yes, Ms. Newton, is it okay? Uh, yes, I was just going to say that I would, uh, Mr. Manning made some assertions about um, legal and legal feeling and indemnification. As I've not seen the document, I, I can't uh, say specifically what those were. So in addition to the staff comments that Dr. Thompson and his staff are going to make, I was just going to say that I would particularly appreciate hearing from legal. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Thompson, or sorry, Dr. Thompson. Yes, ma'am. Th thank you, ma'am, for the opportunity. John Thompson. Uh, so bottom line, Mr. Manning uh, pretty much summed it up perfectly in terms of what brought us to this point here today. And just want to say in terms of the indemni uh, indemnification clause, uh, county legal advised that Prisma put forth an indemnification clause, the documentation for them to review. Uh, Prisma did that and our county legal approved that particular document. Also, the county utilities department, the director in particular approved this project, has no objections to it. County finance director, county budget director also approved this project. It does not have a fiscal impact on us and we will stand close, uh, stand by that indemnification clause to ensure that Prisma takes full responsibility for it. We support the project because it is a redundancy system for them. So as Mr. Manny has uh, alluded to, we want to make sure if something happens again, that they will have a backup system to be able to provide the necessary water supply to their facility. So there's no objection from Richland County staff members for moving forward on this request for Prisma Health to acquire the water lines from the city of Columbia. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ms. Newton, do you still want to hear from legal at this point? I mean, if, if legal is here, I, I wouldn't mind hearing from them. Um, I'm looking through the boxes on my screen. And yeah, this is, this is Brad. I'm here. Okay, great. Thank you, Brad. Yeah, Brad Farrow from legal. Yeah, we reviewed this and I sent out an attorney client privilege email uh, on, uh, let's see, the 3rd of November uh, with uh, highlighting the various sections in the uh, agreements uh, going back to 1988 uh, that contain indemnification and insurance provisions uh, in uh, favor of Richland County as the uh, property owner uh, found those to be uh, quite adequate uh, and had no concerns about the uh, uh, indemnification uh, agreement that was tendered in addition to the earlier protections. So I, I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty solid uh, situation as far as indemnification in favor of the county. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Ms. Newton, do you have any further questions? If not, I'll recognize Mr. Malinowski. Okay, thank you, Mr. Malinowski. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Brad, the only question I have is at the last meeting, I made an inquiry as to the fact that in the various amendments throughout, that there were various amendments throughout the agreement 
that addressed other buildings on the grounds and other changes that came about. And I just wanted to make sure that we didn't need to go back and put an amendment into the overall lease structure, not just a, a hold harmless agreement. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, that, that's correct. Because of the various agreements, I, I made special uh, attention to see that there were no gaps in coverage for the county and, and didn't find any and found that this was more like in addition to rather than in lieu of or, or to the exclusion of other provisions. So I think this is an additional protection and didn't see any gaps in coverage. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any further discussion on this item? All right, hearing none, I will have Ms. Only call the roll for the motion on the floor. Georgia? Yes. Manny? Yes. Newton? Yes. <laughs> motion passes. Right. Thanks everybody for that one. Uh, now we'll go to what is now item 4B. Uh, move to engage a third party consultant to undertake work on Richland Renaissance, which was approved 11 to zero by this council in early 2019. Staff has chosen to postpone this council approved project, which would alleviate serious facility constraints and results in savings over time, as the county would not spend money on short-term repairs, but on long-term needed facilities planning and construction. Um, so you've heard the motion um, Is there any discussion? So I'll ask my colleagues for uh, discussion on this matter. Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Manning. Um, I would, uh, you, you said that as a motion. Uh, I mean, it comes to us as a motion, but I believe the committee has the opportunity to make motions. Yes, uh, Mr. Manning. Uh, so I'd like to make a similar motion worded a little differently. Okay. I move that we authorize the administration to engage a third party consultant to undertake a comprehensive review of Richland County's long-term needed facilities and service delivery planning and construction work. Additionally, administration will newly brand this plan and discontinue formal references to Richland Renaissance moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Manning. Could you just, for the my slow note taking, repeat the part about um, after engage a third party consultant to, could you get that phrase once more? Sure. To undertake a comprehensive review of Richland County's long-term needed facilities and service delivery planning okay. and construction work. Okay. Um, so hearing Mr. Manning's motion, is there a second for that? I'll second that for discussion. Thank you. Um, since uh, you seconded it for a discussion, I'll let you start the discussion if you want. Sure, Mr. Manning, just to clarify the part of your motion that talks about service delivery planning in that regards, I'm making assumptions about what I think you mean, but would you tell me what you actually mean? So I know for sure. Certainly, uh, a lot of what the county does is deliver services. And so I thought that it was important because if we're looking at where buildings are located, a lot of times services are delivered from those buildings, like the treasurer's office, like the comptroller's office, um, the auditor's office. So if we're looking at facilities being buildings, if we were to move, say, some of those administrative functions to another facility, I think besides the buildings, we ought to look at the services that we're providing to citizens in connection to 
actual buildings. Thank you, Mr. Manning. Glad to know that I was tracking. Great. Um, further discussion on this item? I have, I have a question also for the maker of the motion. Um, does this kind of mirror the motion that we had on Tuesday night? I certainly think it includes everything that was talked about on Tuesday night. Okay, so this kind of uh, wraps up with that motion. Yes, ma'am, that's what my thinking is. Okay, great. Any um, any uh, comments from staff or any um, additional information from staff regarding this? Madam Chair, I don't have any additional information. I, I too think it's consistent with the Tuesday discussion. Okay, great. So the the end result of this motion will just be that it is in harmony and in alignment with uh, what we what we passed on Tuesday. Okay, great. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, we can vote on item four B. Uh, Miss Only, Horatio, uh, yes. Manning, yes. Newton, yes. Right. That brings us to what is now item 4C, um, move that Richland County proceed with completing the plan to move the um, EOC EMS out of the windowless basement of the parking garage to the old junkyard property bought, brought, uh, sorry, bought years ago for that purpose at the corner of Two Notch Road and Cushman Drive. Um, Mr. Manning, you were the maker of that motion and yes. yes so I, I would withdraw that or table it or whatever we need to do because I think that now has gotten attention to some folks who were not around when council did that. And it is now on the radar and they've done the research to go back to see what action council took on that. But then I think that would roll into the motion that we just passed about looking at the service delivery needs and the facility needs for the county moving forward. So I either table it or withdraw it or whatever is most appropriate. Great. Do you have a preference for that? Um, sure, let's table it. And then whenever they start looking with some of the initial stuff about the, uh, because this was not in that plan we have before the big plan the one we're looking at rebranding. So it was not a part of that. So as long as it gets connected moving forward in the newly constructed um, comprehensive plan for facilities and needs, then I'm good. But if we leave it tabled here, then we know hopefully it'll help staff to stay reminded that it exists. Okay, thank you. So that's a motion to table. Is there a second? Second. Right, it's been moved and seconded to table item 4C. Um, any further discussion? All right, Miss Only, will you call the roll? Horatio? Yes. Manning? Yes. Newton? Yes. Motion passes. That brings us to what is item now 4D, move that Richland County discontinue its practice of demolishing private property in the, in the unincorporated areas of Richland County where that property is not on a public road without that property owner's consent and opportunity to be heard by Richland County Council. And I further move that any and all such involuntary demolitions be incurred at the county's expense and not the property owner's expense. Uh, that motion was brought before us by Ms. Myers, and um, I don't see on my boxes on my screen that she is here with us tonight. Um, is there any uh, questions or comments from the committee? Uh, Mr. Manning, I think you're on mute. Yeah, I'm sorry. I move that we defer this to next month. Thank you. Um, is there a second to defer? I'll second it. Thank you. 
been moved and second to defer. Um, Miss Only, will you call the roll for that one? Horatio? Yes. Manning? Yes. Newton? Yes. Motion passes. Um, that just brings us to number five, items pending analysis, no action required. Um, we are still looking at item 5A, move to evaluate affordable housing options to include the option of establishing affordable housing trust fund for Richland County as a benefit to the public. Housing is considered to be affordable when 30% or less of one's income is spent on housing and utilities. In Richland County, nearly half of renters pay more than a third of their income on rent and utilities. I don't believe that we have any new um, uh, new information to uh, for this item, so we will um, hold this until um, another our next meeting or whenever we get some new information. And then item 5B, I move to direct the county attorney to work with the county administrator to research and draft an absentee landlord ordinance. The ordinance should provide potential remedies for individuals who violate county ordinances and provide via supplemental doc doc documentation, a comprehensive review of the legal impacts potentially associated with the adoption of such an ordinance. Um, I'll just ask here, has there been any, is there any new information on this item Uh, Madam Chair, may I be yes, recognized? Yes, yes Ms. Dickerson. Thank you. I've been in constant uh, communication with the legal department on this particular item, and it appears that there are several um, items already in our ordinance that pertain to this, but i just like for them, uh, looking at the way this is um, verbalized or put on the agenda, I would like the, for them to, to make it specific and pull it out so that you can, when you look at it, you know exactly what we're talking about without going through the whole or ordinance, but we'll have a specific ordinance to address this particular um, um, this particular item. And I think Ms. New Ms. Newton could help me with that if I'm wrong. Great. Um, Ms. Newton, you have your hand up? Yes, um, far be it for me to, call Ms. Dickerson wrong. Um, but I do know that our staff had worked on also re making some revisions. And so if there is a representative from legal who can speak to that work, I'm not sure if everything was sent to the full committee. So I think this would be a, an opportune time for an update if, if one is ready. I think Ms. Um, Councilwoman Newton, that's what I was talking about was that I have been in co communications with them, but I did not have okay any definite um, answer to the to for a solution to the problem gotcha and is, is there a representative on the call now who can address Ms. Dickerson's question yeah this is this is Brad I mean yeah first part of the answer is yes there is a representative too I can't I can't really answer a question because I'm not uh, the one illegal who's been assisting on this matter but I, I can tell you that uh, what Ms. Dickerson is talking about in terms of other aspects of the law kind of addressing a lot of what this is uh, intended. The county has uh, International Property Maintenance Code, which has a lot of provisions, which I think would be uh, uh, right in line with what this is intended to accomplish. Now, the problem with that is it, it's hard to get a hold of one of those copies of, of the, it, it's, it, you know, you have to go on the internet and order a, a copy of the IPMC from somewhere. So there's not a lot floating around, but uh, I do agree with her that that needs to be probably brought into the main county code, so you can search that online. The second thing I would comment on is under state law for many years, there's been something known as the South Carolina Residential Landlord Tenant Act, and that has as well a lot of protection. So uh, I would just emphasize that those things probably need to be uh, easier to access. Uh, but again, I'm, I, that's just based upon my uh, understanding of the agenda item. I have not worked on that item though, so I can't give you any more than what, what I just did. Thank you. Further questions from the committee or other colleagues? Um, I don't have any further comments. I noticed, um, I also, I want to note that I, 
I think I've gotten a couple of emails from Lauren regarding this item. So I think if we can continue to work with her so that we can draft something that will address this because seriously, we're dealing with some very serious um, issues in our county with absentee landlords and the way um, it has happened to contrib contribute to the blight in our communities. And so we really need to actually work on this so we can address this um, as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Dickerson, I um, couldn't agree with you more. Um, our specific constituents' um, complaints might be slightly different, but um, the source of the complaints is definitely the same. We definitely have some um, absentee landlords in District 5 who, um, you know, the result is that the, the tenants are not making very good neighbors and contributing to trash and blight and uh, general um, di un discomfort with the neighbors. Um, so I hope we can work th with this, um, work this out together. I, I truly do wish we can work with it because I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the midst of it. And it's very, it, it's very, I mean, it's, it's get to a point where you don't even want visitors to come to your home because of the blight that they got to come to, to get there. And I think this is not fair to the, to the homeowners who work and live and try to make sure that the properties are nice and we keep it clean for someone to not have that same interest in the property or uh, in the neighborhood and the communities that they continue to um, add to blight and, and cause properties to, um, you know, just continue to depre depreciate. So I just, I just think this is a very important matter that needs to be addressed um, really quickly. I'm not sure who I, how we allowed it to get this far, but it is really is a serious concern of mine. And believe you me, even though I may not be here, I'm not gonna be gone from this item and I will be staying on top of it until we can find, you know, till we start being able to find some kind of solution to this problem. Thank you. Thank you, we'll count on you. Uh, Ms. Newton, you have your hands on, hand up. Yes, I just wanted to, ask staff if they have any questions about the additional direction that Ms. Dickerson has given just to make sure that we're, we're all clear so that we can continue to move forward. I don't, I don't have any additional questions. I can certainly follow up with Ms. Dickerson uh, after this meeting. She and I will, will stay in touch. She has been calling me anyway. So uh, I, I think uh, I can get some direct communication from Ms. Dickerson. Thank you. And I was also, Mr. Brown, I appreciate you hopping in. I was also specifically speaking to legal on that item. Okay. 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 Um, if there's no further discussion on this item, I, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Thanks everybody for an efficient meeting. Move to adjourn. Um, I think we've lost Mr. Manning already. I'll second that motion. Uh, and Miss Only, will you call the roll? We might not even have a quorum at this point. Yeah. Tracia Newton. Yes. Aye. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you.